When I was 10 years old, I had a life-changing experience. When my father left me and my sister, that's when I started to change. I wonder why did he leave? He must have a better reason. Maybe he wanted a better life. Sometimes I ask myself, weren't we good enough? I never got any answers. I grew mad and enraged. Sad for all the other kids who had to grow up without parents. But I never showed my emotions. I kept them inside. And I started to become a warrior as I became stronger. Even though I tried hard to deal with my emotions, I was still young and I lashed out at school and in the streets. I felt sad and I didn't give a damn about people. I became a bully and disrespected everyone, my peers, my elders, I didn't care. But one day when I was 14, I saw a video about Mike Tyson that really inspired me. It showed me how he channeled all his anger and frustration from his youth into the ring and that motivated me to do the same. I wanted to do something with my life and that's when I chose to get into boxing and join Team Kenya Proch at Haorang Kwan Dojo. Kenya, my sensei and mentor, introduced me to boxing and what it's really about. It's not a job, it's my passion, my dream, and my journey. When I step into the dojo, I'm at school, but not regular school. Boxing teaches you discipline. You gotta first respect yourself to respect other people, youth, your peers, and especially respect your elders. In the gym, Kenya's my teacher, my guide. But there I have learned things I carry with me wherever I go. At home, in school, the streets and in life. You learn values just like you learn math. And then I met LJ at home when, when he was a little a little kid. It's just like still, I mean, no clothes yet. You know, I met him and then uh, I see him like every time we see the fight on the tape. So he start to punching ear and stuff like that. And my, uh, his uncle just keep worrying about that LJ gonna be a violent kid later on or or uh, what do you think? He kind of asked me question. Those kind of questions. I said, you know, it depends on how you train him, and how you keep close attention to him. So I told him, said, you know, give him some time, and then uh, soon he grow up enough. He understand outside. You can uh, put a jail with me, and then I I will stretch him out. Be a he will be a good kid. <laughs> I love to see that who, whoever kid come to me, I make sure they have a good discipline. If a person uses martial arts, he needs to be disciplined and he needs to learn how to control his anger and not use his skills to hurt people in the streets or anywhere else. The big challenge to work for a young kid is some of them uh, grow up with a different environment. What it is, I have to be a lot of patience and then let, let them flow what they have and then showed them the weak point, what they what their weak point is. I slowly correct them and make them make sure they understand what it's all about and what the teaching about, what the respect, what to other people, why you you know, why you do this. Uh, I want to become a fighter because it's a spiritual journey. Uh, I also wanted to protect my family and friends, and it also teaches great discipline as well as self control. That's one thing that I really like about boxing, because I did try other sports. But I learned this was the best way to learn discipline. It taught me to be kind and most of all not fight because martial artists had to have self-control and that's something I really needed in life. In boxing, I have found a way to show my emotions, like anger, sadness, and happiness. But not with words, but with actions. When I hit the bag or shadow box, it let me express my feelings. It's another way of body language. This has been key in my life. Now have I become more disciplined? I don't fight and hurt my enemies. I don't use any martial arts skills for evil purposes, like injuring or killing people. When anger comes, I control it, as you control the outcome. When fighting in the ring, I use my anger wisely, respecting my opponent. If I'm ever in a situation where I can't walk away from a fight, I don't fully hurt my enemy, but I use moves carefully. That's the most important thing. Just walk away, and no harm will be done. Like what my trainer Kenya said, I'd rather lose a fight than win. Because if I win, I can't find peace. And every day I'll be paranoid, worried about my enemies seeking revenge. But if I lose, I can't find peace. And every day will be a free mind. That's why losing is important. 
winning is a good thing, but winning is a bad thing also. Um, I love to lose. That, that way I can go home, sleep, and peaceful. Uh, winning, you cannot go home and sleep. You think about that, your opponent gonna come up to you anytime, any day, anywhere. Uh, you know, you're not gonna be, you have, you, you're gonna have four, six eyes behind you. Being in the dojo for a year now, your training partners starts to become your friends. And after a while, like family. My friend Daniel Ajid has been a big influence to me because he had helped me through all out of my struggles and generally cares about me and his friends. I could talk about my feelings without fear of me judging me and really appreciate that. LJ is one of my best friends. I consider him like a little brother. I love his enthusiasm, his spirit. He believes in me, which helps me push forward. You know, sometimes when I feel doubt, LJ is always there to lift me up and pick me up, you know what I mean? Even if he doesn't know I'm in doubt, he just has like a psychic connection where he just, he'll just send me a text or something right at that right moment to, to help me continue on my draw and push, push forward my dreams. Kenya has also been a great influence because he is a positive male figure in my life and he shows true care to his fighters and his friends. He has become like an uncle. Daniel and Kenya are true heroes because they're real people who have been continued helping me make a change in my life and others. Now I have learned to channel my anger into the ring and with Kenya, who's become like family. I'm in a much better position to make better decisions as I go into a positive man I'm on the way to be. In my journey of life so far, I have learned many things, but one thing I'm sure is I will continue to grow as a martial artist and be a positive role model to anyone I come in contact with.